Our China's technological revolution in recent years has changed lives and transformed businesses. But its advances in cutting-edge technologies, including artificial intelligence, have caused the world, especially the U.S., to sit up and take notice. In this third part of our series on China's ambitions, Lo Min tells us where the country stands in the global tech race. Automated kitchens that cook up a storm without a chef. Robot couriers that deliver food to your hotel room. An intelligent bike-sharing system that identifies the spots with optimal demand. China has been at the forefront of the artificial intelligence race. Experts describing China as neck-to-neck -neck with the U.S. in this sector, which is pivotal for modernizing everything from consumer technology to military defense. China is advanced in most things related to mobile internet. In terms of where China is lagging in many aspects of advanced manufacturing and supply chains, China is actually missing a lot of the key points. Um, so-called choke point technologies. Among these choke point technologies is semiconductors, an essential component in nearly every digital product, from mobile phones to electric vehicles, and increasingly seen as a key to national security. The US leads the world in developing and selling them, accounting for nearly half of global billings. And in the ongoing trade war, the U.S. has limited some Chinese firms from buying chips, accessing hardware components, and receiving U.S. investments. Well, the benefit of building a independent domestic supply chain is that, um, number one, you, you're probably getting better service from a domestic supplier. There's a certain level of uh, geopolitical tension, so large companies would have concerns about whether or not they can continue to receive service or support from foreign suppliers. This assembly plant in Suzhou in East China has been working to secure more of its machinery locally. Today, less than half of its equipment are sourced from abroad, compared to nearly 90% over a decade ago. Still, China lags years behind when it comes to making the most advanced chips with the highest computing technologies. Once a country has the technical capabilities to build semiconductor production facilities, it takes about 10 years to actually build the facility. So even if the countries had the technical capability right now, you're really talking about those domestic facilities not coming online probably until 2030 or thereafter. The fear is that China's supply chain could be easily crippled if it doesn't have these essential choke point technologies. That's why it's been setting up multi-billion dollar national funds to invest in chip makers, for instance, with the aim of producing 70% of its own chips by 2025. Beijing's ultimate goal is to reduce reliance on foreign technology. This despite recent regulatory crackdowns in the tech sector, which experts say is also part of Beijing's strategy to increase competitiveness in the long run. China is trying to get ahead of the world by uh, setting regulations because, number one, it believes that regulations is going to help the um, industry to move ahead faster, but it also thinks of it as a sort of soft power. Cyberspace has increasingly become a new frontier in warfare. Many nations now consider it the fifth dimension of warfare alongside land, sea, air and space. A geopolitical battle over which country will set the rules of digital governance is already underway. China dominates certain critical information infrastructure like 5G technology, installing about a million 5G base stations, nearly 80% of the global total. According to the Espen Institute, a Washington think tank, China is set to surpass the US in research spending in science and technology by 2025. Lo Minmin, CNA, Shanghai.